All right, guys, let's go ahead and build a polynomial function from its zeros. Here it says form a polynomial whose zeros and degree are given. What we want to do is type a polynomial with integer coefficients and a leading coefficient of 1 in the box below. Um, so we'll go ahead and start that process right now. And the process that I'm going to use is uh, something I developed uh, many years ago. I call it the zero factor table method. So I'm going to make a T chart with the first column. Um, the zeros that are provided. The second column will be the factors and the format of the factors is going to be uh, quantity x minus r which is the real zero. Um, so the zeros we have are x, I'm sorry, uh, negative 1, positive 1, and 6. And so here come the factors. It's going to be x minus negative 1 giving us x plus 1 once it's simplified. Then x minus 1 for the second zeros factor and then x minus 6 for the third zeros factor. Now what we'll do is write f of x equals and we're going to list all of these factors out horizontally. And that would be the factored form version of the function, but uh, they want us to uh, type our function in in standard form, essentially is what those instructions are saying. Um, and by doing that, we'll, we, we should be able to see that the highest power of x is 3, because that's what the degree is supposed to be. So I would do this uh, two factors at a time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take the first two factors, multiply them out. That's going to give us x squared minus x plus x minus 1. Don't forget the last factor, x minus 6. The first factor simplifies as x squared minus 1 course the x minus 6 and now what we can do is multiply these two factors together that's going to give us x cubed minus 6x squared minus x plus 6 and would you look at that we uh, have everything factored and it just so turns out that the uh, foiled out version of this function is in standard form and lo and behold, the highest power of x is 3. So in other words, we are staring right at our answer with x cubed minus 6x squared minus x plus 6. So that's what we'd want to uh, type into uh, the spot here. x cubed minus 6x squared minus x plus 6. Easy does it. That's a wrap for this video. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. Thank you.